Happy Friday, y'all. I hope you had a wonderful week. And it is in the middle of May, and I have a little bit of break before I have to start back up for my classes that I'm in. That will start on May 30th. So, kind of fun for the summer. I'm doing a technology, it's art technology. And the other one is a STEAM class, which is kind of got my heart. Well, they both do, because I'm not sure what's involved with the technology class, but I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so, so a little chilly today. And yesterday it was, we had a cold front come through. This isn't normal. Normally I would have had uh, plenty of time to swim yesterday and today, and I'm too chicken to get in that water, because it was under 80 degrees. And could use a wetsuit, but I'm just not feeling it. So anyway, a little bit of progress this week. I uh, started working on a little bit more on this one with blurring out the background and then of course these grapes definitely need to be touched up. So it was good enough when I turned in the project, but uh, definitely need to do that and then work on the, the leaves. Of course there are four and all of them, all four of them need work on the leaves. And this one, now working on blurring out the background here as well. And it is going to lighten it up. So then I'm going to have to come back and put back in some of that pigment to make it a little bit darker, but make it seem like it's blurred out of the, the um, image there. And then definitely come back in and do the leaves. All right, so. I'm going to cut out. Sadie's already over in the studio. And let's see what's happening over there. So we'll see y'all in a sec. I'm heading on over to the studio, and there's my cat. And you're acting like it's super, super hot outside. And it's not. So she was waiting over there before because I was doing a lot of painting. And Sadie, you participated in class tonight. They were using our building, so I had to do a remote one. So a lot of fun. All right, let's see what's going on here. Well, horse, wolf, and owl, now the sides are completely done and dry. I just have to wait about a year before I go ahead and varnish the sides there. I'm not going to varnish the front, probably. I'm not, I don't do that a lot or uh, ever on oils, but sometimes where you see some shiny and some not so shiny, it helps. So, Elohi, uh, excuse me, my throat. Elohi, this is going to be the earth horse. So I started working again on now working on the sky and tomorrow I get to work on the grass over here. And this is going to be a very grounded horse. We already had fire horse, a chila over there. And then we have Ama down here, the water horse. Ama, I had to put her back uh, over here again because there had been some paint I found on the back of the canvas. So I had to kind of uh, patch it and then it was in I had this in the light one day and it looked like patches so I had to really smooth all that top out so it was all even and the oak tree it's done it is signed down there signed done finally yay what just have to do the bottom so I sometimes will sign if I have just an edge left to finish up. And I'm so happy, yay! So I've got some brightening with those leaves. And I'm gonna get ready to put another canvas over here after this one dries. And then finally there we are with those Trinity Spirit Horses. Faith, hope, and grace getting some redefining and tuning in, so to speak, to make them sort of pop off a little bit, pop off the canvas. And 
have uh, some any distortions fixed so I'm working on a little bit more here going into the black and we'll come back in with the indigo and the indanthrene and then some highlights with some of those reds and oranges which was a crimson color and that's all we have for this week and Sadie is super super quiet anything to say she said eh. anything you can do a rollover for everybody roll over Sadie roll over all the way over yay good girl all right well we'll see y'all next time say bye Sadie Bye-bye.